Now we're going to be using an external attenuator for some of our testing today and many people are going to be curious as to why I would want to do that. Well when you're trying to ascertain direction of a radio signal, in the presence of a strong signal it's very easy to for the receiver to be overloaded and the antenna is really not going to give you any reliable feedback and we kind of see that in some cases where you don't get the front to back in a Yagi antenna because it's receiving so much signal and external attenuator addresses that. Now my spectrum analyzer has an internal attenuator that I can go through the menu but I'm old and I prefer a switch on my equipment to going through the menus. The antenna we're going to use for this demonstration is a little lambda loop I put together today out of some shot firing wire, a tongue depressor, solder, and a old RG58 jumper that I chopped the end off of. And this makes a pretty effective little direction finding antenna that doesn't cost much at all to make. So let's go ahead and demonstrate. Right now our attenuator is on zero. Let's turn our receiver on. And you can hear our control channel signal. And you can see that regardless of position of our loop antenna, that our receiver is oversaturated with signal. So this isn't going to provide us any kind of direction finding capability at all. But when we apply attenuation, let's go ahead and 20 dB. You can hear we're losing our signal. And picking it up again. there is our signal. Now a loop antenna is bi-directional meaning it's going to give you direction both directions so in order to narrow it down if this is all you have you just use your body to shield the loop and in the opposite direction and you can see we're pointed in the direction of radiation or the direction of signal and my body is shielding the antenna and as we turn back around again we've established a primary direction now to seal the deal what we'll do is is we'll just go ahead and put our edge on our target and that's a null detector and then you just adjust yourself for the null and it's a little more precise if you like this kind of radio direction finding content, stay tuned. This is just an excerpt of an upcoming video. I hope this helps. This is Brett from Survival Comps. Till next time.